How's it going, guys? What's up, man? How's that? Good. So how'd it go? It was good. Uh, another great uh, day to improve and um, you know get better. My goal coming on this pro day was just to compete, uh, do it all, try to improve what I what I did at the combine, and just you know not be satisfied, and just try to compete. Were there any specific roles that you tried to focus on between the combine and now? No, man. I, you know, for the last two weeks training, I've been trying to you know work on all of them again. Just really improve. This is like it's probably the last time I'm going to do them. You know what I mean? I'm a lineman. You know, I'm going to be doing a lot of those things again. So I wanted to make sure that uh, I gave all that I had. Um, and I, you know, like I said, it was another work to come to compete. Do you know any numbers from today? I don't. Coach Elosi hasn't told us yet, but I think someone will get out. I'm, I'm going to find out right after this. Sure. So did you know your height and weight and stuff or anything like that? Uh, they said I was. They said I was six four. Uh, I weighed in at three hundred five today. Some mock drafts have you going at the very end of the first round. How much would it mean to you to be able to get your name called on that first night? Oh, uh, man, that would mean that would mean a lot. You know, I think uh, that's my goal, you know, is to work hard. You know, and I can't control, sorry, I can't control, you know, where I, where I get drafted, where it happens. Uh, that would definitely be, you know, dream come true. That is a goal to go on that first day. But, you know, like I said, I, all I can do here is, is, is my best with coaches, with teams, and, and try to show them that I'm, I'm worthy of that. Uh, yeah, I mean that's that's been my goal. I feel like uh, I went to the combine, tried to show that, and you know tried to seal it off today. Like I said, uh, I personally think I am, you know, but um, you know there's a lot of good players out there, and it all depends that you know team needs. So I'm trying to be uh, able to do it all. And teams told you, you know, you're specifically going to be a guard, or some told you maybe you could play some tackles. Or... Yeah, I mean there's some. I mean as you guys saw it there. I don't know if you guys saw, but I mean they said uh, there's teams are saying guard, tackle, center. I mean. Yeah, you know, I, I, can, I can do it all. Yeah, center, have you snapped a ball? Never. <laughs> <laughs> what have uh, scouts pointed out in terms of what they would like to see you improve? Um, you know what? Um, I think just, you know, a lot of going to the combine, really, a lot of people didn't know who I was, you know, wanted to see me on the board and do those kind of things. But uh, what a lot of people want to see me improve, I think, is just, um, you know, to clean up some things in my pass protection, you know, and, and be able to learn different schemes. You know, here at UCLA, we ran a tempo. You know, widespread, a lot of zone, two-point stance. In the NFL, a lot of pro style, uh, three-point. Just, I guess, a lot of people want to see. You know, if I can, if I can learn and adapt quickly, those kind of things. What did Coach Moore tell you out there? What was that? When you were talking with Coach Moore at the end there, what was he, What were you guys saying? Oh, you just, you know, told me he was proud of me. Worked hard. Uh, worked hard. He, you know, he's very complimentary uh, to those coaches about me. Uh, and I have nothing but, you know, great things to say about him too. He. It was a privilege playing for Coach Moore the last two years, and, and, and I learned a lot, and I think uh, he's a big reason why I was ready this year to come out. So you had Sal Alosi for two years. Yeah. What kind of impact has he had on all this? A huge impact. Uh, Coach Alosi is he's the real deal. He cares about us players. He expects the most from us on and off the field, and I think that uh, he's able to push us and you know just teach us lessons as men, really, you know, little things. The stuff that Coach Moore was implementing about becoming a professional, I think this whole staff you know, embodies that. And uh, you know, I felt relaxed, calm, cool, and, and just you know, came to came to work today. At this point in the draft process, have you learned anything new about your own game, especially after this program? Um, you know, only that you know, I can never be satisfied. You know, this is just the beginning. Uh, today was my pro day. Has a long. We have a long time until May, and then a long time until training camp. And so, you know, I'm excited to see where I am, see where I need to improve. I know what I want to do, uh, not only on the field, but you know, with my body off the field and everything, and, and I continue to do what I've been doing. And um, you know, I, I just can't tell you how excited I am. You know, I love football. It's a fun time. This is what kids dream of. This is what I've dreamt of since I was little. And and I think um, I could be good at it. I could be good at this if, if you know if I keep working hard and I always stay hungry. I mean, you said that you know, people didn't necessarily know who you were uh -huh. before the combine. Yeah. Do you feel like maybe you've opened some eyes in this past? Yeah, yeah you know, I hope so. That was definitely my goal. Um, you know. I was, I was gone for two years playing on a mission, so people wanted to know what I was all about, you know, my family life and background, you know, you know, just kind of what kind of person I am. And I think that, uh, you know, a lot of, you know, my perception, you know, to them, you know, was was either uh, changed or, or made true of what was uh, already been said about me. And so, you know, I try to work hard, try to be the same guy every day, and I try to improve. Did you get asked a lot about those two years a lot? I did, you know, I mean, um, they asked me, a lot of things about my mission, you know, if what I did out there, you know what I mean, for two years, and what I was able to do, what I wasn't able to do, and 
really in the end how it how it benefited me. You know what I mean? And, and also, um, you know, gave me room to grow and improve. I think I have a lot of untapped potential that I can, you know, that I can keep continuing to work on, and I think, and I'm so excited to be able to do that. Did that have an impact on you leaving early? Not a lot of interior linemen decided to you know, leave. Uh -huh. You know, I think that. Um, uh, I mean, it did a little bit. To be honest, I just felt like I was ready um, throughout the season. You know, I talked to a lot of my coaches, confided in them, Coach Moore, Coach Clem, and my dad. You know, and they just, you know, left it up to me ultimately. The pros and the cons, you know. Uh, you know, it would have been fun to stay another year in college, but I think I was ready, you know, ready to take this step. And I was, you know, I, I couldn't wait really any longer. And uh, I was very excited to do it and, and, and take this next step in my professional career.